Hi, Sai Karate Illuminati. This is Noah, and today I'm going to address a question that I've gotten fairly frequently when I post uh, videos with the Makiwara and the heavy bag, and that is which one is better or which one should you use, the heavy bag or the Makiwara? So, what I want to address with that is that these are not a sort of either or training tool. From my perspective, you should have both of these and use them both because they are different training tools and they serve different purposes. So the heavy bag is excellent for a lot of things that the Makiwara is not good at. But on the other hand, the Makiwara can do some things that the heavy bag does not. So with the heavy bag, obviously we have a nice large target that is smooth and consistent all the way around. So you have the ability to work a wide variety of strikes from a variety of angles. You can circle and pivot, you can change levels and strike low, you can kick at various heights, you can do all kinds of striking on this and not have to worry about, you know, getting your perfect alignment and getting in exactly the right position because it's much more forgiving as a striking surface. And additionally, because of that forgiveness, you can wail on one of these. So you can hit as hard as you want, provided you have the right alignment and structure to do so, or you use hand wraps and gloves to support it. So with something like this, the benefit that you get from this being a freestanding, soft, shock-absorbing implement is that when you hit it, it moves, and it moves away from you. Um, now, part of that is sort of a shock up and down when you're hitting it, but part of it is actually swinging away from you as well. So if I were to hit this and drive through, it goes that way. But it doesn't really give me any resistance back, because when I hit it and I drive it that way, its own momentum helps it go that way. So eventually it comes back to me, but at a certain point, it's not giving me any resistance anymore. I hit it, and then eventually it just leaves until it comes back. Now, that's not a problem for a lot of the things that you might want to work on a heavy bag. If you're working in your combinations and working in your various different strikes and just trying to hit as hard as you can, or maybe trying to work the flow of one technique into another, this is a great tool for that. Where it's not a great tool for, because of that lack of resistance, is building structure and building strength through the kinetic chain that you're using for the strike. Now, because you're able to use that full kinetic chain uh, and use it to its maximum on this, you can still develop power on this. It's not to say that you can't, but you can fine-tune your technique a lot better and develop that structure and that strength much more precisely by using a Makiwara instead. Now because the Makiwara is built like a spring, like a leaf spring, when you put pressure on this, it is constantly pushing back at you. At no point during this does it swing away and have to come back, unless you're specifically working speed where you're really withdrawing this quickly and then you can get a similar effect. But the whole purpose of having it built like a spring isn't so much shock absorption for your joints, although it does do that. It's mainly to give you progressive resistance. And this is the same idea as a resistance band, for example. If I hit this and it's constantly pushing back at me, then it's putting my entire kinetic chain for that strike under load, and it's doing it specifically in the same plane of force that I would be using in the strike, because I'm striking it. So if I'm hitting this and getting resistance this way, I am building strength very specifically through this range of motion that I'm using. That also puts all of the joints in that chain under pressure, and because they're under that pressure, it's easy to see where they're weak. As I apply pressure here, I can tell if my wrist isn't lined up. I can tell if my elbow isn't in the right place or if it's starting to flare out. I can tell if I'm being pushed back. All these different things that I only get 
because I have that progressive resistance. What this doesn't have, obviously, is that freedom that the heavy bag does. I can't move around and strike all these other sides of it, right? It's a very flat surface in comparison to the round one, so that does limit some of the things I can use safely. I have to maintain this one target for all of my strikes. Now I can move around the Makiwara and I can do a variety of different things. I can pull it, I can change levels still, but it's much more limited than the heavy bag is. What it really does is helps me fine tune my technique, my form, my structure, and build strength through that structure, which I can then take back to the heavy bag and apply it there in a much more free form manner. So personally, I feel that you should go back and forth between these tools in your training. Wail on the heavy bag and get used to applying all of your power as much as you can safely, and then use the Makiwara to fine tune that and develop your power even further. Going back and forth will help you figure out where you have weaknesses in your structure, in your technique, and then adjust it and then test it again to see if it's improving. You really miss out on a lot of things by doing just one or just the other instead of combining both of them.